Hi everyone, I'm Kirsty, and today I'm going to be reacting to Dreamcatcher's OOTD. I'm very excited about this. Um, I'm a week late um, just because I was away on holiday last week, so I've been kind of dying to watch this. I have seen that I, there, there's a lot of mixed opinions about this song because um, it's kind of a change in sound for Dreamcatcher, but I'm always open for new sounds and I'm always open for experimental sounds so i'm intrigued to see what's going on with the song and why it's so marmite like but yeah if you enjoy my reaction don't forget to hit subscribe and if you'd like to leave a like or a comment i very much appreciate that my socials are linked down below including my patreon where you can sign and support me and receive early and exclusive access to my content Uh, Handle looks so beautiful there. Oh my god, I love those boots. I need them. Oh, I love that curly hair on Xian. <laughs> Did she swear? Oh, this is so dirty. Like the bee. I can see why this wouldn't be to everyone's taste. I like it though. Oh, this is really good. I like this bit. Sian looks so good with the curly red. Oh my god, you. Oh my god. Interesting. Would you like to join the journey? Oh. Are we starting like a cyber kind of thing with Dreamcatcher's storyline now? Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I can see why it is polarizing. Um, I really liked it. 
it was really interesting and like so many different kind of parts to the song and like I think if you're a person who only listens to Dreamcatcher title tracks you would think this is really weird and different I don't know if I like this this is not Dreamcatcher but if you are someone who has like me has actively listened to every Dreamcatcher b-side throughout the years um you would know that they've messed with their sound a lot. They like they do have B sides that are rock, but they also have a lot of experimental B sides. They have dance tracks, they have house tracks, they have city pop tracks. They like they literally do everything in their B sides. Um, so this is not that weird for me as it goes with Dreamcatcher. Like there is still that kind of rock element to it, especially like in the bridge. There is the rock vocals. Um, so it's not that weird, I don't think, in terms of Dreamcatcher's releases. Um, I know also that there was some people that were complaining about the lyrics. Um, to me, it definitely feels very much more like a persona or like um, like a kind of sarcastic, piss take, ironic kind of vibe in the same way that like um, Idol's Queen card was, you know, where it was like these lyrics that were just so bombastic and um, were really um, self-obsessed in a way. I feel like that's what they were kind of going for with the lyrics of OOTD. Like, I am hot, I'm beautiful, I'm stunning, you follow me, um, you want to be me, that kind of thing. Like, it's that's what it felt like to me. I, I couldn't ever imagine that that was, they were like serious lyrics and I find it bizarre that people would be like, oh my god, Dreamcatcher are so, well, like, I feel like, I don't know, it may be the case where people are reacting to one or two people not understanding it and the reaction itself was blown up more than the actual misunderstanding, but I'm just like, how would you not get that? Um, but yeah, they all looked so beautiful. Oh my god, they're so stunning. Sua, my queen. Um, and Handong looked so beautiful. Like she just really suits light haired color, light hair colors so well. Um, I love Tian with the curly red hair. Dami with the green looked so good. I mean, I mean, Gahyun always looks suits pink. Yuhyun looks wonderful and stunning, and Jiyu is to you <laughs> i feel like i had to say something for each one there but they're just ah uh, they just look so good i just love that in terms of like their visuals and stuff i feel like it really was so beautiful um i'm gonna watch it again to see kind of like what i've missed and kind of get into the song a bit more um for a second reaction but yeah i like this song I don't know what the fuck is going on with my fringe. This thing at the beginning is so interesting because it's quite like syncopated and off, like purposely. She's so stunning. I love those pink boots so much. Oh my god. I feel like it's also like, I don't know, I guess about the commodification of beauty. Because like, do you use like in a box like a Barbie there?
looks so good with the, the pigtails as well. I don't know why I had to do this, but... I don't know why, I really like that. I'm only doing better part. This bit is really addictive as the hook as well. Also, ooh, I like that. I love the visual effects too. I don't know, I like the change of the chorus. Like the slower version with the slower vocals. You are so gorgeous. I love the bit where they don't have the jackets on. Oh, that bit. Oh my god. Man. I really like this. Like like I said, I do I do understand why some people wouldn't. I get that. It's not for everyone's sake. I love it though. <laughs> I really enjoyed that. Um, I'm definitely gonna be checking out the B sides and uploading a reaction to that, so keep an eye out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye!